Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to Dress With Me. If you are new here, I am Tiana. If you are not new, thank you so much for continuing to watch. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you a couple of looks that are all bright. Like I know that usually, you know, for fall, like it's your burgundies and um, like, you know, your um, basically like the fall leaf colors, like burgundies, your burnt oranges and stuff like that. But this time around, we're gonna shake it up a little bit and we're gonna go bright because no one really follows fashion rules anymore anyway. Like there are no fashion rules, you do what you want. So yeah, we're gonna hop right into this video and I do hope that you see something that you like and that, you know, you wanna try. Now I will have the links to everything in the description box below. And um, yeah, so let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I am wearing now because if you do watch my channels, I try to record in like along with the theme of the video. So I do have on this yellow cardigan. This cardigan is from Amazon, which I always be surprised when I get clothes from Amazon because I keep forgetting that Amazon sells clothes. So I don't know, I may try to do a whole thing like Amazon lookbook. But this is from um, Amazon. My jeans are from, um, are they from? I think they're from Shein. I, yeah, they're from Shein, and I love them. Like, and I'm not even like a baggy type jean person, but like I love them. I love the rips. I love the fit of them. So like they're great. And then I just paired it up with a regular white t-shirt because I'm telling you, like you can take the most simple pieces and make them extra by just having like a pop of color or something over top. So that's another theme of this, like. Nah, nah, it's not really that many simple pieces here. Nah, forget that, forget that. Anyway, so <laughs> let's jump to like our first piece. And like the first thing I wanna show you is this little, this short um, pink mini skirt. It has a bunch of ruching on the side, but even though like you know you have like, um, like ruching um, that like you can kind of adjust. This is not one of them. Like this can't be like adjusted. Like, so if it's short on you, like it's just short. See, but it doesn't look short like right here, but like, I don't know, when I get in it, it it's pretty short. But I match this up with this orange like, um, sweater. Now, I do like this sweater, but the only thing I don't like about it is where it, it cuts at. Like, um, it cuts like, right before your waist and i feel like if it's going to be a crop sweater then like be that but then if it's going to be a full limb sweater then i'm gonna need you to be that like I, you can't be like in the middle and this is like a in the middle sweater so like i'm not that crazy about that but i do like the color combination like i do like that and i was a little bit surprised because i may wear um I may wear like colorful clothes, but I really don't color block that much. So I was kind of like, huh, I like that anyway. So this next one is a super simple one because I just want to show you like this yellow skirt. I don't know if you've been with me for a while, you know I had a yellow skirt a long time ago, but you can see through it. So this one you cannot see through. It is a long yellow pleated skirt. I think that is so cute. It is so bright for October. But I'm gonna tell you something, today is gonna be like 78 degrees. So I feel like October is not acting like October. So it's okay. This has like an elastic band, so it is extremely stretchy. And I just matched it up with a white button up shirt just to tone it down because the yellow is so much and it's already like floor length. So I just had to tone it down, you know, with the white shirt. And I think that was simple, but it did come along. It came along pretty well. Okay, and for this next outfit, I have like this blue um, satin shirt, which I didn't think originally that I would like because um, I'll show you. Well, for one, because it has shoulder pads and I don't know if they're trying to make a comeback, but I'm not a big shoulder pad person because um, it makes the clothes look too boxy. And I feel like this is definitely like a box. So I didn't think that I would like it, but I love the color. Like this royal blue color is like super nice. But I was able to like, um, like free, like do the front, like do the front like a crappie top look, like a crappie type look. So um, that made the shirt a hundred percent better and a little bit more wearable for me. And I matched it up with these pink um, satin pants, with this pink satin pants. And I really do love these pants. Like, I think that these are so cute. First of all, pink is my favorite color, but I think that these are so cute. I think it was so great with that shirt just because it is all satin. And the best part about it for me is that um, 
is the waist. Like I barely find clothes that can actually fit my waist. Um, so I was happy about that. So like in general, I love the way this outfit came together and I matched it up with this, um, this pink bag. This bag is from Shoe Dazzle, super simple. The best thing about it, I feel like, you know, is the gold hardware on it, like makes it pop like a little bit more. And I like that you could take the chain off and wear it as a clutch. And I think that's how I wore it in, um, in like the show, the modeling piece. But I do love it. I think that whole outfit came together so nicely. You know what I'm realizing is that um, there is a lot of blue. There's a lot of blue in this, but well, more blue than I, I thought. I guess that's all right. It's a little bit different because um, usually I always have, okay, usually I always have a lot of pink. But um, the next outfit I absolutely love, like, look, I love everything. But the next outfit I also absolutely love, I'm going with all yellow, so it's a monotone look, and you know that now I am on a super hunt for a yellow coat because I think a yellow coat would look amazing with this. But this is just a cropped yellow um, sweater. See, and they did this one right. See, because it's cropped. Like, it's not like in the middle because it's a cropped um, yellow sweater that fit very well. Like the top, it's almost like you can wear it. Like you can't tell what's the front or the back. You see, because it's pretty even. So like, it's like right up here at your neck. And I thought that was cute as well. Matched up with a pair of wide leg yellow, um, trousers and these are so cute as well now they are very long but i am short but they are very long but still they are so cute but i really did have on like i think one of the highest heels that i have and as you can see there is still so much on the floor but i'm going to take it to the tailor and have them only get it like an inch, maybe like an inch or two off the floor because I definitely do want it like covering my shoe. I think that's like part of the look. And, um, but I'm gonna get it a little bit, but if you're short, just know that you may have to get them tailored. But beyond that, they are a great fit. They are so, like even though they're from Shein, like to me, they seem like a little bit more high end. Like the quality really is so good. So I really did um, enjoy this outfit as well. And now for the um, next one, see like, why am I dropping everything? The next one you see like we're back to blue. And this is a dress, which the reason why I like this dress is because, well, for one, I love the royal blue. And if you um, watch my channel, you may have already seen this, but I figured since it was blue, we could bring this back around. <laughs> but um, I love the royal blue. I love that it looks like a two piece, but it's not. So like here is like the little bandeau top and it has like a zipper detail where you zip it up in the back. And I like that, that it looks like, so it looked like you did a little bit more, but it's just a dress. And this is from Fashion Nova. It fits so well. So, you know, it hugs every curve so nicely. It definitely is stretch. It's not super stretch, but you can, you can probably size down in it though. Like, cause it's, it is that stretchy, you see? So, um... I think it is so, it really is so cute. It, like, it definitely makes a nice statement. And it looks like you're doing a little bit more than what you're doing. Okay, and for the final look, this is also more blue. Um, I have this green sweater that I grabbed from um, Shein as well. And this is kind of like in the middle, but not. Like, this one is okay as well. This one is okay. So, this is this green sweater that I matched up with. Um, the blue pants that I literally have no idea where they are right now. Okay. But I matched them up with those blue pants. And the blue pants have the gold button details in the front. And yes, if you watch my channel, then you've already seen those blue pants anyway. But I thought it was cute to match it up with this green sweater. Like, again, like just something a little bit different. Something a little bit poppy. You know, like just so, you know, we won't be um, in the fall. Like, everybody's just wearing the same color, same, you know, same... Like, you know, the same styles and the same looks. It's nice to, like, bust out at work <laughs> with something, like, a little bit different. So, that was the point of this video. And I do hope... Oh, wait. Let me show you all some stuff that didn't even make it in the video. Because I feel like, like, it's so weird. Like, like look at this shirt. This shirt is, like, you see, like, it has no... I was going to say it has no sleeves. But it has no nothing. Like, you button it up in the front. But, like, you see, like, the front is, like, a flap, almost like a handkerchief. And you just, like, put it over your head, and that's it. And, like, the whole, like, all of this is out. 
but like I see where they were going with it but like it's just like a, a mess like the cut of it is a mess it's just not really a good looking shirt um I didn't even I didn't even put the shirt on if I can find a picture of the model in, in the shirt then I'll put her up there but I don't know it was weird so that really didn't see like to me this is weird like you see like I said it's like you're throwing a, a, a apron like over top of you like I feel like they tried it but but like no but um, that is that for this video. I will be back here soon. I really do hope that you all enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so I'm all like, bye. But, you know, not not bye. Because um, I forgot to show you all the shoes and the other two bags that I had. And I refuse to have an incomplete video. I'm going to tell you all that um, getting back into the groove is really like taking like a, a few minutes. So if you're new here, welcome to the ghetto. I hope you all stay. I am trying to get like, you know, my groove back a little bit. It, it took me so long to do um, like the modeling portion of the video like just straight struggling like like this is my first time my first time here so that was a mess so this video i hope it's not too all over the place for you all but like just just stick with me it's going to be sooner than later we're going to be out of like the woods and then we're not going to run back into them we're going to stay out but as of right now the ghetto but here are my here's the shoes this is the shoes that i wore with the green sweater and the blue pants these are from um, Steve Madden. I absolutely love them. They are like the colorful spiked heels. They go with everything, of course, because there's so many colors in them. The best thing about them is the heel is not so, so high that like you can't walk in them. Like this, this maybe don't look like it, but it really is a comfortable heel. And I did get this from like the Steve Madden, um, the Steve Madden website and the um the bag i had with that is just this red bag that um you know honestly i think i have this for such a long time that i forgot where i got this bag from but just get yourself like a red like simple bag like super cute gold hardware all of my bags almost have gold hardware because i'm just like a gold accessories girl <laughs> so like yeah that is what i matched with that and i thought that came along well and with the yellow, I had on this heel that I grabbed from Shoe Dazzle. And I really do love this because I love a gradient shoe. Like, I think that, you know, you're getting like two or three shoes in one shoe. Because, of course, you know, we have yellow with the green and then, you know, it ends in the blue. Perfect, perfect, perfect for a bright, um, a bright lookbook, bright colors. Like, really is the perfect shoe. Also, it is... Um, a great heel as well like it's not too too high that like you are struggling like you really can wear this all day without like your foot hurting so that was that one i did i feel like at some point i had this bag at some point i had this bag if not here is this bag and um i love it i um this is a quilted sky blue bag and you see like the gold hardware on it that um i grabbed from just fab and it has like the little, like, you know, the little click button. And um, I never wore it before, so. Oh, it does have a long strap with the gold hardware as well. So that's super cute. And um, yep, the inside is like this leopard, like just one little zip pocket, like leopard detail on the inside. Super cute. I really do love it. Like is really cute the color is so poppy it's cute and i do like that it could be both and even though it wasn't in the video i did go and grab like the same bag in black again i love it i love the black and gold detail the black i mean the gold really does um stand out and it is the same construction on the inside like there is the thing and then the same leopard um print on the inside I'm looking forward to carrying this bag. Like, I think they're really cute. And with the orange um, sweater and the um, pink skirt, I did wear, if you see my Eagle Hall, you've just seen this shoe. So I did wear this strappy orange shoe. And again, I like this shoe because of the heel. This is a thicker heel. Like I would consider it like chunky, like a chunky heel, like so easy to walk in. The straps are so cute. I mean, well, they do get a little bit annoying because like you see this little tiny buckle. Yeah, that was annoying. I'm not gonna act like that was. That 
that wasn't. And then like it's buckles all throughout and they are adjustable buckles. So if your feet are a little bit wider, then you can adjust them. But again, it it is gonna give you a nerve. But it is cool that it is adjustable. So you don't have to really get like a wide fit because you could just make this wide for you. So I think Eagle did a good job with that. And the next shoe I have, I wore with the um, blue and pink outfit is this pink um, mule with this bow detail here love this shoe as well the good thing about this is that it has this clear um strap and um so it gives your foot support so you are not like just clinking along struggling to keep the shoe on your foot like it is the cutest shoe ever it definitely pops it was a perfect match um to that bag so with the blue so like it popped out nicely and this shoe is from shoe dazzle as well also very easy to walk in not a super stiletto heel and it's not high so super cute easy to walk in so and my last and final shoe is this royal blue suede pump i really do love this as well i love like this cutout look you see like that cutout it looks so sexy on your foot it is so cute and again it is not a super high heel like you sh well if you're a heel wearer like you may be able to wear this one all day long this one is from shoe dazzle it is the perfect match to that royal blue box shirt <laughs> perfect perfect match so those were the shoes that i wore um in this video i do apologize for coming back at the end of the video but i didn't just want to end it and not show you all like the shoes and stuff i had on so yeah sorry about that we're going to do a little bit better next time but still i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next one bye